Greetings everybody and welcome back to Daddy the Grand, the Grand Daddy Place, Hades, the big bad update. We are due for a spear run apparently, so let's see how that one is going to go. Let's see what we are starting with here, or rather who we are starting with here. Zeus, interesting. Nephew, I want you to go and show that surly Hades everything you're made of. And I've arranged for you a little bit of help along the way. Let's see that help then. Um, okay, this is a rough choice. I am thorn between the Zeus A because it is very strong, very strong indeed. Or the Thunder Dash, which I could just use a bit more rotationally, you know? I take the Zeus A here because having a good Wrath effect right from the get-go is always a nice thing. And yeah, it's basically the run can still go anywhere from here on out. I will hope I hope we can get something excited for this. The spear usually not my best weapon, usually not the weapon I enjoy the most, but it does have the potential to make some very, very fascinating runs happen every now and then. So clearly I am very in the market for that. There's Dionysus. And my god, is it going to be one of these runs again? Is it going to be another tipsy shot attempt? Tipsy shot scintillating blast. Or scintillating feast is what it's called. The duo between Zeus and Dionysus. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. If I can get that again, God knows, I will go for it. I will. Yeah. Why, thank you, mate. Thank you, thank you, far too kind. So I'm not a fan of the Blight Flourish on the special, not on the Spear special. Instead, I will go with the Positive Outlook. Will be a small help, negating some damage later on. Sadly can't go in here, because God knows I would have liked that. And this is a small waste if you would have had Premium Vintage here. We could have had so much HP right from the start. Ah well, 15% damage negation is still pretty, pretty good. And yeah, the good thing about the spear is it will absolutely shred these squishy enemies like it's nothing. Like it's absolutely nothing. That's also one of the reasons why I really don't enjoy having the spear on heated run attempts, because you basically just lose out on that big advantage. You can't just await a new spawning and wave and just blast it into nothingness like that. Because they have blue shields, they have more HP, sometimes they have armor, like in this case. You just lose out what makes the weapon very powerful. The ability to just to just screw them the moment they show their faces. And you know what? I'm taking the massive spinny. I feel like I haven't had a very good spear spin run in quite a while, so hopefully we can make it work for ourselves. Who's waiting here? These jokers. Armored numbskulls. Also, I should stop dashing into these traps, man. I really should stop with that bad habit of mine. I feel like at this point it's just a trademark, but I really, 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 really should get rid of that. I don't even know what is looking so tantalizing about these things, but something about them. There's just something about them that just lures me in. And yeah, Poseidon, no chance. Dionysus again, though, I can be convinced to take that. And yeah, um, I don't think you need me to tell you that I am basically just looking for that casting boon, that tipsy shot, just so that I can get a shot at getting that duo boon here. God knows I would be over the moon if we could make that happen. And this should do the trick, right, mate? Yeah. Let's see. Ah, Blight Strike. Also very interesting, especially for the spear, but not if I have the stronger charging attacks. Not with that. Let's go with the Nasty Dash. Nasty Dash, pretty decent because it's just a super easy way to apply a debuff on the enemies. If I could spare a minute of your time. I mean, no. 45 seconds is all I can spare here. It's all you can 
get out of me. Also, thanks for the snack they made. And yeah, why not fight here for a while? As long as we are here anyway, you know. And as you can see, the fully charged attack, it deals a metric crap ton of damage. Boom. Oh yeah, now I have this. Just roasting them with a small blast of lightning there, which is very nice. And I don't even think I'm getting all that much money out of these jerkers. So yeah, they really they really need to think of something to give you some kind of actually an incentive to fight in here. No more of this buffoonery. It would have had the shield. I could have, for example, just hit myself over in the corner and just waited out, you know? There is a palm, but I'm not that interested in the palm yet. Not quite. Oh, that is good. That is great. That is all I ever wanted for Christmas. And still no tipsy shot. Damn. Let's take a premium vintage then. Let's liven things up. It isn't wise to go against me, nephew. I know, I know. I'm not known for being charitable to the insolent. I'll keep that in mind, never. Oh man, I really wanted the tipsy shot in here. I don't know if it's just bad luck on my part, or if they changed it at some point, that the Wrath of the Gods always has all enemies fully armored. Oh, by the way, I'm not happy about having to do this in this small room, but now I can call on Zeus's Wrath himself to clean out these jokers, just like that. Alright, alright, let's call the score between us settled up for now. Just don't go spurning me again, you understand? Zeus, my friend, why was my Facebook giving me an alarm? Um, trust me, Zeus, we have been doing this so often, I will probably not and never stop scorning you at all. Not even a small bit, not even slightly. Um, I'll actually go for the double strike here. Is my hair sticking up? That is a wager. This is me trying to... Grab that, why not? I implore the face. Here's me trying to be... I mean, sure, let's go. Trying to get something amazing for the future. And Poseidon sure isn't going to be that amazingness that I'm looking forward to. But we shall see. Maybe yes, something good for me that I can be persuaded into taking. Um, quick statement here. I will absolutely not take his attack. I will not and never more take his special, that's for sure. I may be persuaded to take his cast. Well, nephew, supposing it's high time for the high seas to lend their might what's more. Seems to be the case. He's offering an exchange. Ah, <sighs> Poseidon's call could have also been interesting. But you know what? Boiling point is the thing that will right fit on. into this run the best by far. It will give me more wrath effects out of Zeus, and God knows I love having more wrath effects out of him. Likewise, mate. Likewise. Actually, it feels like I haven't played Hades for a while. I know I haven't played yesterday because I had a super long work day. I'm not sure if I played the day before that. I don't think I have because I was playing Smite with Philip. Not sure if I recorded then. Don't think I did. Nah, I don't think I did because we are playing with a few friends. And it just became very chaotic overall. So yeah, I actually haven't played this game for three days. Damn. That explains why I'm feeling so rusty all of a sudden. And, you know, Harry's out of nowhere. Okay, sure, why not? Um, let's actually take the Curse of Vengeance here, because that opens up the duel between him and Zeus. That actually has some potential right there as well. And I'll get some dodging chance in here. What do I take here? A better boiling point. That's actually quite the big entries. Yeah, taking that, no doubt about that. Time to face the Furies. Which one is it? Tisiphany. Tisiphany is simple. With Tisiphany, I can deal. Murder indeed. And I gotta say, this working week has really made me appreciate these Saturdays and Sundays again. 
Not even because I enjoy having free time. I mean, I do. God knows I do. But because it allows me to get some morning uploads done again. And I have really, really missed that. There's just something very, very calming. Something soothing about being able to record and play in the morning. As opposed after a long work day. After having come home. Having had a big meal, something like that. You know, it's... You can do these things, but you feel pretty taxed. Now I have had a good night of sleep, I feel refreshed, I feel rejuvenated, and I feel like Tizophany has nothing on me. And you know what? It's a good experience. I already played a game of Smite earlier before. It was a Conquest game, which I haven't done in quite a while. Something for the mirror. It was... It was a good game overall, but from my perspective, it wasn't even all that exciting. I was just sitting in solo lane, farming, trying not to die with Persephone. It was okay, but it, was, it really wasn't an exciting game overall. It's just that. But you know what? There are a lot of games that are like that, so... You know, you take them as they come. But yeah, overall... I can say that I was fairly excited about this weekend. I haven't had any special plans, you know? I haven't set myself up to do anything mind-blowing. I just was looking forward to resting, to recording, to playing, getting some groceries done. And uh, I'm actually going to buy myself some shoes because... I don't know what it is. I'm not even moving around all that much. I'm not even... He actually got a hit on me. That hug skill. But even though I'm moving as little as I do, I somehow have a talent to just wonk my shoes to death. Like the pair I'm currently wearing for the most part. I am owning that pair for like three months. Absolutely ruined. Can't wear them anymore because I'm basically just... I don't know what it is. They... Just get destroyed super quickly. Maybe I'm just having a heavy step or something like that. It feels like I have to buy new shoes basically every other month or so. Let's see Hermes here. And it's actually a pain because I am the kind of guy that doesn't enjoy buying clothes all that much. Don't know what it is about it, but it just just feels like a pain. Just feels like something I'm not particularly enjoying. I don't know if it's like that for everyone. I know... A surprising amount of males that do enjoy buying clothes. Of course, quite a few females that do the same, but... I was never that kind of guy. Frankly enough, I do enjoy going to buy clothes for others. But as soon as it's about me, I don't know. I immediately become bored and disinterested. Let me see the news then here. And you know what? Second win, pretty good. Taking that. The haste of Hermes. Uh, let's try a reroll on the palm. Time for a change. That's good, that's great. Another duo boon out of these two jokers. Looking forward to seeing what they have in store for me. Let's start with Dionysus again here. In the name of Hades. There is the tipsy shot. Sadly only a low rarity, but you know I don't care. To my health. To your health, Zagreus. Audacity runs in our family, Zagreus. But my advice to you is that you keep it carefully suppressed in your relationship with me. Not a chance, my friend. Sorry, Not a chance. I mean, you have seen me saying no to you for the second time in one run by now. What makes you think? What makes you think that I'm not going to do the same thing again? Yeah, just stay there over the lava. He did stay over the lava there. That is very, very generous of him. And yeah, you can see that Zeus suddenly becomes a lot easier to deal with on these Wrath of the God moments when he is getting angry in a big room. He suddenly isn't as scary anymore, which is very nice. And the Nasty Dash, man. I I feel like I haven't talked about it quite a bit. And I have actually not taken it quite a bit, even though it is a fairly, fairly strong boon. Um, let's take that. Thank you. 
having such grudges any longer, I suppose. But you just mind yourself around your Uncle Zeus. Oh, I'll be mindful. Just show yourself again like this for a second time. Or a third time at this point, rather. And God knows I will scorn you again without remorse. High voltage is pretty decent. I kind of also feel like Lightning Strike would have been amazing if I wouldn't be dedicated to making this a charge attack run. Let's get the static discharge then. Jolted, and we are good to go. Could go to the shop, but I want to see if a reroll will be good in here. And you know what? It's good. It's very good. Exactly what I wanted to meet here. It was either Zeus or my friend Dionysus. Where are they at? There they are. Hey, yeah, the thing about Nasty Dash is it's basically the smallest damaging poisoning effect you can get. But it has some small hidden qualities that make up for that. One of those being the fact that it actually applies a poison effect twice per dash. And that it has a small amount of base damage that it applies. Like, let me see if I can make it happen here. Let's see you and get the poison effect off of him. I will dash to him now. And you saw that I applied two times five damage to him. There again, there again. That makes the damage this dash deals per dash quite high, actually. Surprisingly high. And you know, it's still a debuff that will help you get closer to that privilege status, which is, of course, always a boon. Always a pretty, pretty big gift. Hated that I took so much damage there, though. Hated that. No doubt about it. But there's a doable one, so it was all worth it. How about another? Uh, sure. Sure thing. And yeah, basically this run is now set. This run is now super set. And there's nothing these jokers can do about it. One more cross, let's drop down here. And these jokers have no idea how they're going to die. Like that. And yeah, we have basically super strong cast. We still have the potential to get super strong regular attacks, but we need a good boon for that. And god knows, I haven't seen a god in this game that could be the one to give me that. God knows, I hope this will change later on. Delicious. Zeus is 8. Making that strong is kind of tempting. Jolted also very, very strong. Let's take the jolt here. Stronger. And there's a lot of money waiting for me. You got all my cars. There they spawn. Some damage right off the bat. Setting up my cars over there just so they get all the lightning damage immediately. Rotha pack to finish the job. And there's still one more. All the way down here. That did the job. Sadly, no. Premium Vintage. That's quite a shame, actually. And you know what? I will go for it. Um, let me think. I could meet Ares here, have a chance at getting the duo boon between him and Zeus. Let's go for it. He still has some other cool things that he could be giving me, you know, but... I think the duo boon might be the best thing we could come up with. And you know what, if he is going to give it to me here, I think I may be persuaded to go with Athena next, because she has a very strong revenge effect as well. And she can also give me Holy Shield, which would be another very, very nice revenge effect. Or you know, I could also go for Aphrodite. I think you yeah, I think I will go with Aphrodite instead. There shall be no end to it. I am, as ever, here to serve your benefit. Thank you, Arius. Let's see what you have. Exchange. Surprisingly disappointing, all things considered. I could take the Curse of Pain, but you see my run. I am never going to use my special. Let's take the impending doom. The war god's power. There's a shop. Hopefully I can buy some HP, because I have been pretty neglectful about that. Greetings, Caron. There actually is some, which is very nice. And you know what? I also get a palm here. And yeah, let's make my cast stronger. 60 damage extra on that is very good. It's very good. He's doing a strange hat switch there. 
I just said, I never use my special, but then I do. I don't know, man. Just starting by pressing Q, it feels like such a weird reflex for me. Simply because usually Q, the special is also your relevant range option. I just wanted to get as quick hit in here as I was starting this situation, this combat situation on these jokers. And yeah, they're dead. Grabbing that snack really quick, simply because I can. Dropping the bloat. You see, yeah, he is in the zone. That's very good. Ooh. Last, uh, second to last phase, I mean. And yeah, the doom effect, whenever I do get hit, it will deal good amounts of damage. Hang on a second, that's the lava. Yeah, interesting, I never knew that. Apparently, standing in that lava pool doesn't even proc my revenge damage effects. Interesting. Can't say I like that, I'm actually very disappointed. Because I wanted to do this amazing speedrun strat where I would take damage to increase my damage output on these guys. And yeah, just like that, all my plans, all my hopes for the future were shattered. Just like that. That's quite the bummer, man. Very, very sad. Now here I was, wanted to be all clever in this situation. All efficient, all speedrunny, you know, and... Turns out, it was all in vain. Let's drop the ball in here. One down, the other one's going to follow suit very quickly. Oh, wave maker hats, I hate them. I hate them basically on account of them just sitting over the magma pool forever. I consider that kind of behavior very impolite. It's not the fine British way of showing good manners, you know? It's just the very, very kind of rude behavior that I don't enjoy at all. Then again, when have I ever seen good manners out of these Hydra heads, you know? They are very rude. They never say hello, they never say hey, never ask how I feel, how my day was. They just bite me or spit things at me. And then I just have to do the decent thing and behead them, you know? It's Any more heads you'd like chopped off? basically just what the people, what the community demands of me in situations like this. Some money, some health, and let's actually go for Athena. Yeah, I have a good feeling about Athena, yeah. And Eye of the Lamia, sure, taking that. I go on record and say that Eye of the Lamia is a low-key game winner. It's so cheap, it can give you so much HP. If you just buy it in every shop, you just increase your overall survivability by a mile. If you don't find yourself needing that, it's fine. It was just 25 gold. But when you do need it, and it comes in a clutch, trust me, it is a gold experience. And it is even better for other players than me, because other players, they usually tend to take a lot more HP than I do. Like, I have had that discussion with quite a few people in the past. I neglect early HP simply because I prefer to see good boons or money to make myself strong as fast as possible. And that's just me. Other people don't play like that. Exploding launcher would have actually been interesting, but quick spin it is. Super strong, long-range attacks, man. That's... What can I say? That's just the stuff of dreams for me. Where are they at? Oh, there. Spear hero, huh? Not going to last. Dropping the load on you. You're also not going to last here, Bowman. And yeah, hoping that Athena will show herself very fast. I want to get her attack, ideally. That's bad. I want to get her attack as soon as humanly or Olympian godly possible. Ideally, before I enter a room with a lot of witches. 
here. Just look at that. This would be two times, I think, 17 or 15 HP, something like that. Uh, let's make the... Let's make the call stronger here. There's a shop. Let's enter it. I mean, why would you ever go into a blue laundry room over a shop, right? There's Zeus again. Also very good. Clouded Judgment. Even more run effect. There's Athena. Looking forward to seeing her. And yeah, this is... I think this is going to be a fairly okay fight. Just need to make sure to hit all of these jokers as I go. Keep popping my spell, my cast. And yeah, as you can see, the range on my charge attack is actually so huge that I can just clear out these nubs very easily as I go. Yeah, no, you're not gonna do that. And down they are. He actually still spawned, even though he was about to die there. Athena, attack, please. Attack. To have been living in that loathsome squalor, cousin. I swear, you'll have your justice. Give me your justice by giving me your attack. She is not giving me her attack. She is not giving me her attack. And I am very disappointed. Proud bearing. I think Bros' skin is going to be a better long-term investment here. But man, Athena, here I am, here I was, telling how good I felt about going to meet you. And here you are, disappointing me a great deal. <sighs> I hate it when the gods disappoint me like this. Not a fan of that happening. Really, truly, utterly, completely not a fan. Oh well, we're still managing. And we still have this amazing duo boon, you know. How could I stay mad at anyone for anything in here? And as you can see, between taking damage and between dealing, we actually get a lot of wrath effects in here. If there's another wave, that wave will be absolutely, completely and utterly destroyed. But there won't be. There she is again, hopefully with something better this time. Hey, Asterius. Glory and honor to you if you can vanquish me again. Come. On it. And yeah, I really need to just stop using my special like this. I actually mistimed my charge attack there. No chance for you. And this should be dealing... Yeah, that was good damage. That was very, very decent damage. Oh. I actually expected him to do another jumping attack there. We have twice. Come here, come here. Let's put one here. I am fairly certain he's going to come here. Boom. And this should do the trick, right? Not quite. Yeah, we... The only thing this run right now seems to be suffering from is the fact that we don't have a strong debuff that we just can apply on the man without my wrath effect. That's actually one thing holding this run back. I mean, that and not having an attack boon for my super strong charge attacks. Maybe this time. There we go. Thank you. Holy shit, also very interesting. I really wanted that, but Divine Strike, as I was demanding it, as I was wishing for. Yeah, get out of my way. So that I can deal with you properly. Just still one more. Oh, there. Two more, three more even. I mean, damn. Now they're all gone. They are spawning more. Explosives! Boom. The good thing about this is, they enter my cloud and then they have trouble. As you have just witnessed, which is very nice. Uh, I will go to the shop here, if I can get some HP, I would like that. There is some HP, not the kind of HP I wanted, but you know, I'm taking it anyway. Sadly no duo boon here. Could go for the battle rage, but I don't think it's actually all that good. But urge to kill actually makes everything I do better, so that's neat. And yeah, let's see how we will fare against the beef boy duo. 
if you seek a swift and righteous death, you fiend, you've come to the right place. Okay, cool. I was actually more looking forward to dealing swift and righteous deaths, but you know. I am pretty, pretty sure that I am in the right place for that as well. And yeah, between my cast and my wrath effect, Thesis is going to have a very, very, very bad time. Kinda sad. Because this basically means that I won't be able to meet Aphrodite later on. That's him. Yes, King Yes, he's damn. And you're going to follow suit. Look at them running circles around me. What a joker. Stereo's just running around me like a... Uh, like a puppy, basically. At least he wasn't humping my leg, I suppose. Some money, some health. And for the last trick, for the last keepsake, let's grab the... I really grew in accustomed to taking the broken spear point here, so let's do that. And... Okay, I'm going to take the Truff Tracker here, because I heard that actually works in... Sticks. I was under the impression that it would, but we will find out here. We will find out. There we have sticks. Hopefully we will be able to get some something good with that. I would like money the most, clearly. But I think there are also some other valuables that we might be able to get out of that. Time to feed the beast. Oh, why does it have to be Poseidon? Of all the gods? I mean, will I buy him anyway? Yes. Special, not interested. Sunken treasure and ocean's bounty. Uh, I will only have one money reward at this point, maximum. So I might as well take this sunken treasure here. You know, some waves, right, Uncle? gave me a nice amount of money, some free darkness, a bit of HP, which I was actually able to use, and I still have two rewards here. I will take this money. That one is for sure. I will not take this pawn though. I have a better idea. Poseidon again. What a huge bunch of baloney. Yeah, this wasn't good. Let's start with... I want to start with Dionysus. And yeah, there's actually a treasure chest spawning. Who would have thought? No idea why they can't spawn in here regularly. Okay. Not going to overthink it. Just going to ruin your life. Had to remind myself there that I actually do have an amazing cast, and it is money. Just spreading this around a bit here. Oh, that's a nice touch. He wasn't even saying anything here. Yeah, so do I. And they actually crowded this room somewhat fiercely. There we go. That's a nice amount of money. Sadly, no Ambrosia bottle. That would have been a bit too nice, you know? Is it only you? Seems to be the case. But you are not lasting. Problem solved. Problem solved indeed. Bothers. This should be no problem at all. Yeah, they're dead. They are dead. And... More bothers. And a snake had a big one too. Big snake heads. They are actually kind of scary. I have to give them credit where credit is due, but they died all the same. So did that bother, so did this bother, and they are still. My god, why are there so many of them? Just look at this. Oh no! Why wasn't I able to get out of the corner? Oh, I would have been actually kind of salty if I would have been hit by that explosive damage there. And yeah, you, only you. Dionysus, your legendary, please. He isn't giving me his legendary, sadly. That's actually very, very sad. I think after party is probably going to be the most useful here. To my help. Just for general room clear, because I don't know how long I will be here in sticks trying to find my way through. And yeah, I can actually go for that Dionysus spoon again. There is the legendary. Exactly what I wanted for Christmas. 
Let's go meet Athena here. I would love to get her debuff. Apparently that hit me. It's very nice. And yeah, that was all she wrote. Let's keep going here. Snake hands. Quite a few of them too. But yeah, man, this run is actually very, very nice. Like, we apply poison to our enemies, it spreads around, and then they just take even more damage for standing in the cast. That's... Gotta say, that's pretty good room clear. If you ask me, that's very, very good room clear. I have a hunch that this might actually be the last run. Not sure if that will actually end up coming through, but I have a feeling it might be. There's Athena. I knew it. I knew it. I called it. Let's see what she has. I don't care about the call, but I do care about the blinding flash. Thanks a bunch for that. Taking the HP here. And yeah, now we have to make a conscious decision here. Do I want to do another room? Because I'm kind of interested in taking the money, actually. But... Yeah, no. Let's, let's not go aboard here. Let's grab the palm. Make my... Cast even stronger. I'm actually kind of interested in boiling point as well. Let's actually take the boiling point here. Getting more wrath effects means getting more Fierce dodges and movement speed too. The satyr sack. As he should. As the best boy should. Thank you, boy. And I can say that I've been petting Zerberus constantly. Every time I meet him. Every time I see him. Alright, Hades. Let's make this happen, shall we? One thing left to do. Isn't that so, Father? I would say so. No matter how many times you try, your stubbornness shall get you nowhere with me. Then don't be so stubborn. Cheer up. Live a little. Let's try to rebuild this family, you know. I think we could accomplish it if we really, really try. Reyes. There he is. And yeah, now I actually have two debuffs that I can apply somewhat easily. Which is very nice. That's still triggered. And he got me there. What? My worth purge was already full? Interesting. And of course he stealth the way. I don't agree with that. I do. Also, I just noticed that his voice lines are now actually a bit easier to understand. Which is actually very nice. Where you at? There yet. Let's throw this down. No idea why I use my special there, man. This actually looks kind of nice when he and I are doing our fully charged attacks at the same time. That actually looks pretty, pretty cool. Come out, come out, come out. Ooh, that was glorious. Just deflecting all the cars back at them. I like it. Nope. Oh, yeah, she still got me, though. What a man. And the small ones actually all died as he went down. I didn't know that. Learned something new here, guys. Okay, this is bad. This is a very bad place to be. But I actually got out of that. Really? Doing that again? Two times in a row, but here I'm safe. Two waves coming my way. I think that was actually three waves. Yeah, he fires his lasers. What? Wait, Hades, 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 Hades. What was he doing there? He was doing the animation he usually uses when he was firing his laser, but he was just traveling around. He was just like, hey, 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 look at all my spears that I made spawn out of nowhere. And damn it hit me. And you're dead here. Yes. 
I shall see you back at home. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you there. Please, on your way there. Could you buy some groceries? I need some milk. I need some cheese. Uh, some meat. Beef would be nice. Lamp as well. <sighs> I did it. Yeah, this run ended up fairly, fairly okay overall, I would say. I mean, we had the Duraboon, one of my favorite Duraboons. We had the Legendary. It was, it was pretty, pretty strong. And I think we had no crits in here, but I'm pretty sure I saw my full charge attack hit for like 500 here and there. So yeah, overall, very, very nice. Didn't even need a single life in here, so that's also pretty, pretty strong. And yeah, guys, what can I say except thanks for watching. If you liked the video, let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe to my channel if you want to support me. If you want to see the family grow, I would like that quite a bit. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Until then, have the greatest of days.